For years, Intimidator 305 has ruled the skies of King's Dominion, challenging thrill seekers with its towering drops and relentless speed. But now something new and even more powerful is on the horizon, something with claws, stealth, and ferocity. Get ready because King's Dominion has just unveiled Pantherian this week, a jaw-dropping, pulse-raising reimagining of the iconic Intimidator 305. Inspired by the untamed power and grace of the Panther, Pantherian brings a whole new layer of thrill, mystery and adrenaline to the park. In today's video, we're diving into every detail of this monumental transition, from its chic new look to the immersive, well-themed, wild-themed upgrades that will leave you breathless. So before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the OK bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Check out all of our platform links in the description down below. And for now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight into this one and talk about Pantherian, revealed by King's Dominion. Towering at a most mind-blowing 305 feet, reaching speeds over 90 miles per hour, and serving up some of the most intense G-forces on the East Coast, this is Intimidator 305 at King's Dominion. Since its debut in 2010, Intimidator 305 has pushed the limits of what a hypercoaster can do, not only as a thrill machine, but as a technical masterpiece. Back in 2010, King's Dominion decided it was time to raise the stakes for thrill seekers. After all, they were competing with some of the biggest coasts in the country, and they wanted a ride that would capture the essence of speed and power, honoring NASCAR legend Dale Earnhardt, known as the Intimidator. So they called on Intamin, a company legendary for engineering the world's most daring roller coasters, and together they designed Intimidator 305. Not only one of the tallest coasts on the East Coast, but a ride that would be as intense as a high-speed NASCAR race. At the time of its construction, Intimidator 305 was the tallest, fastest and longest giga coaster on the East Coast. The ascent alone takes you up to dizzying heights with a 305 foot first drop at an 85 degree angle. At the top, there's just one thing on your mind, the breathtaking plunge that awaited. At speeds exceeding 90 miles per hour, ride ex riders experience extreme forces including up to 5 Gs of intensity, forces so strong that riders may experience greyouts on the first turn alone. Intimidator 305's layout is a maze of relentless bank turns, quick directional changes and hills. Each twist, each turn is calculated to throw riders about with incredible power, a relentless high speed gauntlet that keeps you clinging to your seat. Unlike most giga coasters that emphasize airtime, Intimidator 305 puts you right back into the thick of the action. You're whipped around at ground level, zipping through hairpin turns just inches above the ground. It's an experience as intense as the race car circuit itself. At night time, it's a whole different kind of beast. As darkness falls, all you see are flashes of track and the blur of lights as you fly past on Intimidator 305. It's disorientating, intense and unforgettable. Despite a few changes to the ride's initial intensity designed to help combat greyouts, Intimidator 305 remains one of the world's most exhilarating roller coasters. It's fast, it's fierce and it's an absolute thrill from start to finish. For over a decade, Intimidator 305 struck fear and excitement into the hearts of coaster enthusiasts and the general public across the globe. But now something new is lurking, something even fiercer, faster and ready to leave its mark. Introducing Pantherian. The name Pantherian isn't just a name, it's a transformation. This isn't simply just a brand new theme, this is a reimagining of a once thrilling racing experience a complete metamorphosis of the legendary Intimidator 305 into a creature of primal speed and power. Pantherian is here to take your breath away as you race through a one-of-a-kind ride experience. The new Pantherian experience embodies the speed, agility and ferocity of a panther. Stalking its prey from the moment you board, you feel the thrill of the hunt, with design upgrades inspired by one of nature's most elite predators. And as darkness falls, Pantherian will take on an entirely new life, with enhanced lighting that follows the trap like a predator's eye glaring in the moonlight. Each twist, each drop, and each roar of the track is charged with the energy of the wild. With all new trains outfitted in sleek panther-inspired designs, Pantherian combines state-of-the-art comfort with a fierce animalistic edge. 
Each seat puts you right into the Panther's prowling stance, low to the ground, ready to pounce. The logo of Pantherian also fits within the Jungle Explorer area of the park, with the stone lettering in different shades of brown and the badge that references the Panther. The Panther logo coming in and eating a quarter or nearly a quarter of the Pantherian logo makes it look absolutely fierce and ferocious. And here on Chow Chats, we're a massive fan of the Pantherian branding created by King's Dominion's media and marketing team. Stay tuned for more exciting updates on this groundbreaking transformation as the hunt is soon to begin in 2025. Now, Bridget Bywater, the Vice President and General Manager of King's Dominion, said the following. We've been eagerly anticipating revealing Pantherian as it joins the highly anticipated record-breaking roller coaster Rap Terror in filling out the adventures of our jungle expedition area of the park. The 2025 season promises to be a 50th anniversary celebration filled with new thrills and unforgettable experiences. Now let's share my thoughts on Pantherian, my overall summarizing thoughts on Pantherian opening next year at King's Dominion. Of course, it was known as Project 305 this season. Of course, it's been known for over a decade as Intimidator 305. I haven't had the chance to do this roller coaster yet. It does look a bit of a menacing beast. However, for me, I think the retheme is going to be spot on for this coaster. The concept art and the footage that we showed you in Intimidator 305 and how the rebrand is going to look when it's all painted up, it's all newly done. Is there going to be changed to the queue line? We don't know. The entry experience, we don't know at this stage, but it looks brilliant. And I think that King's Dominion have done a wonderful job in capturing the essence of the jungle expedition area of the park. Don't know why I said jungle explorer earlier, but we'll move on. But I mean, you are kind of like jungle explorers in a way because you're kind of exploring through jungle expedition, you're discovering new treasures, you know, linking temple to animal um, as, as, as part of the theme temple to animal. And you know, you've got the Panther, you've got Raptera, you've got um, uh, Tumbley, the SNS 43 spin uh, that replaced the old top spin ride, the Curse, uh, a few years ago now. And you've got this overwhelming sense of story. That's the main thing I get from this the overwhelming sense of story. And I'd like to see them do some really good story work here to really revitalize the whole area surrounding Intimidator 305, becoming Pantherian next season. And for me, I think it's going to be a very, very good project. I do like the look of this project. I do think it's going to be a wonderful investment for the park uh, alongside the 50th anniversary celebrations. And for me personally, I really do love this. I really am a fan of this upcoming project. I think it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be really good to see Jungle Expedition complete pretty much with Rap Terror, the brand new Bolliger and Mabiard roller coaster. You've got the re-theme of Intimidator 305 into uh, Pantherian. The name Pantherian as well, by the way. Some people have had complaints about it, but I'll be brutally honest and I will say that it's not the name I would have personally gone with. However, it's one of them names again where you're going to get used to it. And it's one of those names where you're going to get you're going to feel more at home with it as the years go by. I think as you first hear it, Pantherian, Pantherian. It kind of rolls off the tongue, you know, vloggers going to King's Dominion and saying, hey, we're going to we're gonna ride Pantherian now and things like that. Oh, we loved Pantherian. It kind of it kind of suits long term. I think it'll stick long term. So I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with it long term in terms of um, theming it up, landscaping it very, very well, keeping it clean, keeping it tight, keeping it compact, um, keeping the jungle theming going as well i'd like to see some jungle theming i'd like to see king's dominion and more of these parts going to a more thematic direction uh with their experiences and i think that this could be a really good opportunity with rap terror as well so i think the theming level hopefully will be a, a somewhat decent standard for that park and um i'm really excited about this uh, this this new project alongside everything else coming up next year for king's dominion so Pantherian will debut in 2025 with rap terror the, re the, the extra jungle expedition sections and the overall 50th anniversary celebrations. But what do you think to Pantherian? Comment down below and we'll reply to every single comment. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this theme park news update. I am the CHALL. It's a for now, and that is the end of your theme park experience. <laughs>